CataractCoach.com, cortical cleaving hydrodissection. And our guest surgeon is Dr. Rishi Gupta from Halifax, Canada. This is a technique where, watch carefully, a fluid wave goes between the capsule and the cortex. There it is. So the cortex stays adherent to the nucleus, but the cortex is separated off of the capsule. So now the nucleus can be removed and use whatever technique you wish. Here looks like a stop and chop technique. And once the nucleus is fully removed, there'll be minimal to no cortex left behind, an empty or clean capsular bag. And that's just because the plane at which you did the dissection. And we dissected it between the capsule and the cortex. So we know that hydrodissection is separating the nucleus from the cortex. Hydrodelineation is separating the nucleus from the epinucleus. This cortical cleaving hydrodissection is separating the cortex from the capsule. And this was published in 1992 by Howard Fine, and it's really a very important paper. Here's the paper that explains the technique. Again, this was 1992, almost 30 years ago. And there's a picture of me with Howard Fine when we were teaching surgery in Vietnam in 2006. Yes, I used to look that young. But this technique has been very useful. So Howard says in his paper, I have found that a fluid wave can be injected just under the anterior capsule in such a way that it separates the cortex, or most of the cortex, from the capsule. Irrigation and aspiration of the cortex as a separate step is generally not required. So let's watch that one more time here. Here's a case where I drew the cortical cleaving hydrodissection, and you see that fluid wave going around. The trick here is to tent up on the anterior capsule rim. And at the end, you can see where the nucleus is removed, there's almost no cortex left inside the eye. A tiny bit sub-incisionally here, which we'll get out using that bimanual IA setup. So the trick here really is to tent up the edge of the anterior capsule rim to make sure the fluid wave goes between the capsule and the cortex. Now, you know Rishi Gupta because he's an author. He has one of my favorite books of all time. This is the book where I had in video 999 where I said, I wish I had this book when I was a resident. You should definitely check out this book. The link is below in the YouTube video and here on the website. So let's watch Rishi's video one more time and let's go in slow motion and figure out how, does we, how do we do this hydrodissection. So this cortical cleaving hydrodissection re requires that us tending up that capsule. There it is. We want to get a fluid wave across. There's the fluid wave. It finally gets across. And then as that goes across there, it really separates that lens material, the cortex, from the capsule. And then again here at the end, when we take out the nucleus, you can see at the very end, as on that last nuclear piece comes out, there's really nothing left in the capsule bag. Now, the only disadvantage I can think of is when you have all the cortex removed, there's nothing that weighs on the capsule bag, and you may have more mobility in that capsule bag. But with good par parameters, you're safe. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself what's the name of those forceps.